What is up, guys? WWE Figurine Sister Three here, and this video is to Wrestle Days, um, awesome YouTuber. I'll leave the link down in the description below. But I have a question for you: What is the worst figure in your collection? What is the worst WWE Mattel figure in your collection? It could be Elite, it could be a Basic, it could be a Rumbler. I don't. It could be no, just just Elite. What's your worst Elite? And what's your worst Basic figure in your collection? Uh, I hope I end up on your show. Peace out. Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to your videos. Um, yes, uh, so thanks a lot to uh, WWE Figure Reviews 003 uh, who asked the question, what is my uh, least favorite basic and least favorite elite uh, in the collection? And this might come across as a little bit mean, right? But it's the same person, um, and it is Kevin Owens. So I've got a problem with the Kevin Owens basic that got released. I can't. I think I gave this about a six out of ten when I reviewed it. Um, and the problem that I had with it was on the basic, uh, his body just seemed a little bit out of proportion. Like uh, it sticks out quite a bit on the shorts, but then if you look at like the stomach. That doesn't stick out as much. Um, it kind of looks like, I mean, these look like big show legs and then like the body doesn't doesn't feel the same. It should, it should be a little bit bigger. Now Mattel recognized that and did change that for the Elite and we'll come to the Elite in a, in a bit. Also, look at the arms. I mean, he's, he's not that muscular and actually when he poses like that, it looks, it looks like fat. It's really weird. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's pumped. I mean, he's not Hulk Hogan. He doesn't have 24-inch pythons, you know? Um, so, for me, the, the, the proportions of this figure just look out. Uh, really out. And the face scan, I thought, was okay. Um, I was never really that impressed with the face scan. Um, I did like the detail on the tattoos, the, the KO on the front, the fact it said NXT on the back I thought was really cool. Um, but there was there was enough there for me to, yeah, kind of not be that impressed with this as a basic. Um, but I still picked it up because, well, this was the first Kevin Owens figure. So I picked it up, right? The other day, I'm out in the, in the store, and uh, this was on the show. I mean, look, it's absolutely battered. Uh, I'll put a link to the toy hunt that I found this on in the description below. Um, but the reason that I bought this, because I, I did say I wasn't going to bother, because if you look, the face scan is pretty much the same. Um, they have changed the, the shorts and the design of the shorts. They have made him a little bit bigger in the stomach area. Uh, I do think this is a better figure but the improvements just aren't really enough for me for me to go out and spend 18 pounds on it but they've marked it down to 12.99 because they they reckon there's a split in the side now i haven't i haven't reviewed this yet i will review it but i think that that's meant to be a split in the side i think that you're probably meant to be able to remove that top and i've got to be honest even if it does turn out that it is a split in the side it's nothing. It's absolutely not a problem. You know, if they're going to knock five pounds off for that, I'll take that all day long. Um, so for the price, it's an absolute bargain. But this is a figure that I wasn't thinking of getting uh, because the face scan's still not 100% right for me. Um, the arm problem is still exactly the same. Um, and uh, it's good that they fixed like the stomach area and I think the body's better and I think the shorts are much better as well. So they have made some improvements, um, but this is still going to be my least favourite Elite, I think, um, which might come as a surprise. They are changing the face scan uh, for uh, the next Kevin Owens. I, don't, I think it might be a basic, um, which looked a bit better. But I've got to be honest, the more that I look at that now, the more I'm still not sold on it. I don't know why, but Kevin Owens just seems to be a really difficult figure to get right. So, yeah, that's that's the answer to my question. I mean, there are much, much worse figures out there, no doubt about it. Uh, but uh, I, I just don't buy them. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't bother getting them. You know, if there's a terrible Dean Ambrose, which I know there is an awful basic from I think last year um, I, just, I didn't get it I just waited for the elite the better version pick that one up instead um, so yeah cool question dude 
Right, okay, let's go over and check out some other videos. Let's go to uh, Dragion Dagger. Let me press play there. Hi, it's me, Dragion Dagger, and this is a question for Rebecca. Um, what is your favourite wrestling wrestler? Hello. Oh, you've paused. Look at that, I'm trying to get some drama here, which, uh, which I like. Well, do you like Pokemon? And if so, do you like Muppets? <laughs> and that was also, intense. Are you on the... If you do like Pokemon, do yeah. you collect the Pokemon cards? Um, okay, cool question. Pokemon, uh, I've got to be honest, Pokemon kind of passed me by. Uh, it was... It was something that was massive in the kind of mid late nineties, and uh, I think it was just I think I was just a little bit uh, past that point, if you will. Um, I, I, I like it. I don't ever watch it. I can't really call myself a fan. Uh, I could probably name about five. Po Shall I try and name five Pokemon? Uh, Pikachu, uh, Jigglypuff. Uh, is there a Belzar? I don't know. Uh, Slowpoke. Ash? Can I have Ash? Uh, Dumbledore? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, no, I can't call myself a fan. But I do I do appreciate them. <clears throat> I, I think that the Pokemon game looks, looks wicked. I'd love for them to do a WWE version of that. Um, I think that'd be awesome. I'd love to go running around trying to find the Undertaker. The Undertaker's hiding behind Asda. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that'd be wicked. The uh, what was your question? Do I get the cards now? I don't get the Pokemon cards. Um, and uh, do I like your clips? Uh, I, I do jump onto people's channels. Uh, I don't get a chance to always leave likes and comments and stuff, but um, I really appreciate the support, guys. And uh, when I get time, which granted I don't get a great deal of, but when I get time, I do try and jump onto people's channels. I know that on um, Dragon Dagger's channel, he had a video called It Sucks, which I watched and uh, made me smile because uh, he makes this custom. <laughs> and, uh, and he goes... You like this, don't you? You like the look of this. Well, it sucks. <laughs> kind of takes down one path and then just switches it on you. And he's like, I think that's everything. Oh, no, it comes with the Intercontinental title. Bye. I like that. I like that kind of what is going on. Um, there's a there's a channel that I watch quite a bit of, Tommy's Toy Travels. Really like Tommy's Toy, Toy Travels. And he, he's that kind of, that kind of humour as well. Um, constantly switching things on you. And, uh, yeah, really cool. Awesome question, dude. Hope that hope that answered your question. Right, let's tag up. Whoa, that looks interesting. Uh, <laughs> right, let's have a look at random reviews nine three one. Hello, guys. Ignore this terrible stop motion in the background. It's meant to be a wrestling days. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, this is my question. It's kind of a stupid question. Also, this is the wrestling days entry video. Um, if you was wondering. And I've also kind of got to talk for 39 seconds now because that's how long the stop motion goes on for. I know it's terrible. Um, my question is how many how many beans do you have? That's my one question. It's a terrible question. I know I'm probably not going to get onto the video, but it was kind of fun to make this. And it's just a fun thing to do. So how many beans do you have? That's, that's, that's my terrible question. Anyway, guys. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's awesome. I love the fact that I'm played by uh, Wade Barrett. Uh, that's that's very cool. Uh, I like the fact as well you've got the Lego guy representing a figure. Um, good work, dude. I, I thought that was fine. I thought that was really good stop motion. I've seen some awful stop motions in the past where it's just like, guy there, guy pinning him, that's the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really stop motion, um, but yeah, the yeah that was cool. Uh, I I gotta be honest, I didn't catch the question. I don't know if you said how many views do I have, how many figures do I have. Uh, so I'll answer both. Uh, views, well, views just absolutely blow my mind. The support for this channel is incredible, as shown by the amount of videos that have been entered to get into the uh, your your videos. Uh, so yeah, amazing uh, views. It's over a million, one point one million now, I believe, uh, at the time of this. 
which, you know, it's just awesome. I'm so pleased that there are videos out there that people enjoy watching and I definitely do, you know, put the time in and the effort in to try and make videos people enjoy. Interesting fact for you, the recent toy hunt that I did, the Cruising for Apollo toy hunt, um, uh, the shops were quite spread out. I, I go to four different stores in that one video and uh, it turns out I walked 15 miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like half a marathon. I was absolutely done. Um, kind of explains why, you know, around the time of that toy hunt, there weren't many videos coming out because I came back and I was I was done. I just couldn't do anything. <laughs> so yeah, the cruising for a part. I'll put a link to that down in the. Um, actually, it's the same video as what I got the Kevin Owens from. So yeah, yeah, that's a good toy hunt to watch. Um, so yes, views, 1.1 million figures. Last time I counted, it was at about 110, um, and it's probably pushing 125 now, or, or certainly around that area. That would include figures that I haven't reviewed yet as well. Um, but you've got to remember that the collection is 10 months old. Um, you know, it's still very young. Um, I, I really have put a lot of money and time into the collection. And I don't expect that to change anytime soon. You know, I really am trying to build up. There's no way I'll ever get to like grim levels, yeah. But um, I'm just trying to get one of every wrestler that's been released. And it's going to be a long journey. And I don't know if we'll ever get there. But love the fact that you're coming along for that journey. So awesome video, awesome question. Right, let's go over to I, Ollie and see what I, Ollie has got to say. Same poster as Wrestling Days, I'm a big wrestling fan and I have started to collect figures. I've also got the Crash Cage Ring That's cool. and um, I've got loads of um, wrestling posters all around my bedroom. Um, I love Wrestling Days videos, um, Thanks, can't mate. stop watching them. Uh, I've seen pretty much all of the recent ones in about two months. I just, I just I can't get enough of them, they're just brilliant. So um, thank you Wrestling Days. Oh, okay, right. Uh, I was expecting a question, but it doesn't have to be a question. Um, I, Ollie, you are the man. You are the man. Um, I've got quite a few things I can still say about that video. First of all, that poster. Um, I've got to be honest, I've got that poster because it's the only one that I could find on the high street, like out in the real world. Um, and so I picked it up and bought it. I actually did a review of that poster, which never got uploaded. I don't even think I have it now. Um, so I would have to redo that, but I do have quite a few things to say about the poster. It's a real mixture of people. At the time that that came out, the likes of Finn Balor was down in NXT, yet he was, you know, quite up there in profile, standing next to like Dean Ambrose, right? In fact, I think he was bigger on the poster than Dean Ambrose that was at the back. Um, so I kind of thought that was interesting. Like, how did they decide who was going where? I mean, of course, Cena front and center uh, on that poster but not only that no women really annoyed me no sasha no charlotte no becky you know there was there was no page there was there was no women and that is a main poster or the main poster that you can get off the high street so i like parts of it i like how it's quite diverse uh, maybe not so much now that bala's been called up but uh, it annoyed me as well, the fact there was no women on it. Um, yeah, and look, I really appreciate the support. It looks like that crash cage thing looks pretty smart. Uh, looks a lot of fun. Looks like you've got a nice little collection coming along as well. Um, and always, you've got to remember this, guys. It's not about how many figures you've got. It really isn't about that. Um, it doesn't matter if you've got two or 200. Um, it's... It's more about have the figures that you've got, do you love them? Because what's the point in having 200 figures, 200 basics of wrestlers that you've never heard of, don't really care about, they're not really your favourites? You know, you might as well have three uh, figures that you absolutely love absolutely love that you know when you when you got them you were so excited when you you know got them out of the packaging playing with them or displaying them or whatever it might be they mean everything to you it's better to have a small meaningful collection than a large just 
forgettable one. Don't forget that. Your collection looks cool, mate. Your video is ace. Thank you very much. Right, I think we've probably got time for one more. Um, and let's go to F U Fuse Dash Gaming. I thought it was like F U Z Gaming, but yeah, Fuse Gaming. So this is basically for our Sundays, and this was just my uh, figure collection right here. Smackdown. Crap. No. And I was holding a lot around with Triple H and that. One reason for King of the Mall. Finn Bauer, Demon the King. So basically, wrestling days, I've got a question. Do you like making videos and what do you use to record your videos? Wow, okay. Uh, first of all, great collection. I mean, I saw a lot of figures there, a lot of good figures by the looks of it. That Bala one in particular, as you said, proper smart. I think I saw, did I see a Kalisto in there as well? Um, so yeah, I like the look of the collection, buddy. Um, uh, thanks for the support and uh, do I enjoy making videos? <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, I'm probably guilty actually of making too many videos because I think I think I make some some good ones. Uh, not to blow my own trumpet, but I certainly have a lot of fun making them, and I get excited about uploading them. I get excited about sharing them with you guys. Uh, it's like, yeah, this is a really good video. Like, I had a lot of fun in there doing it, and I'll post it. But then I enjoy making videos so much, I'll post another three after. And so that really good video might get lost in amongst just good videos. Or, you know, I might have to do an NXT review, which they're still good videos and I enjoy doing them. But um, they're, they're, they're going to happen every single week. And the SmackDown ones will happen every week and the Raw ones will happen every single week. But, you know, that's where, like, maybe I do... Maybe I do too many videos sometimes, I'm not sure. Um, but how do I make them? Everything is done on my phone. This is done on my phone right now. Um, I've got, I record it on my phone. I've then got an app called Kindmaster, uh, which I think is like two pound a month. Um, and uh, that's that's how I edit it. There's a, at the end, once you've edited it, it allows you to upload it to YouTube, which that's what I do. And then, um, to do the thumbnail, I've got another app called PixArt, and that allows me to make images or take images and alter them. Um, you know, like take uh, stills out of the video and and do a bit of uh, kind of photoshopping, if you will. Um, and then I upload the the thumbnail as well after. Um, and and again, all of that is done on my phone. So everything is done on my Android phone. I get asked, is Kind Master and PixArt? Uh, on the App Store, I don't know. If I'm being honest, I don't know. I don't. I don't have an Apple phone. Um, but that's not the only way that you have to do it. There's, you know, uh, loads of different ways to do it. Um, if you're interested in making videos, if you are a YouTuber, check out my uh, videos on how to get to a thousand subs, how to get to five thousand subs, um, because uh, that again, it's exactly what I what I've done and what I do. Um, and uh, that might just give you some pointers. So yeah, I hope that kind of answers the question. I absolutely love making videos and maybe I love it a little bit too much. Awesome guys, um, I love doing these. Um, this this is a video I enjoy doing, um, so I'm definitely gonna look to be doing more. So if you're interested in submitting a question, a fact, a statement, whatever it is, you know, get those creative juices going, by all means, post, post a video. I'll find them and uh, we'll keep we'll keep trying to do more of them. I will do another one of these over the weekend that's coming. Um, so if your video hasn't featured yet, fear not. Uh, I will hopefully get around to uh, having a look at it. I'm, I'm still going through the process of looking at them all. There's no way we'll be able to feature them all. Um, but uh, yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing personal. Uh, it's just I have to go through and pick out. Just have to pick out the ones that have the best questions or the ones that I thought were funniest or whatever it might be. But fear not, if yours hasn't featured yet, uh, it could just be a matter of time. 
Awesome guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for submitting the videos, really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, uh, hit the subscribe, I was gonna say submit, hit the subscribe button uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet and hopefully see you again next time. Bye for now.